Shalom, Most High in Christ bless. My name is Officer Yehoshua. I'm with Israel United in Christ. And we come out here to bring salvation to our people. That's right. We come out here to give you the truth about the Most High God. Sister, come over here and learn your history, learn your nationality. We come out here to give you what you lost 400 years ago in slavery. Right. Hey, brother over here with the hat, man. What y'all doing? Brother over here with that hat. What y'all doing, man? Huh? Send that sister over here, man. Whatever she's doing with you, she needs to stop. Come over here, sis. Come over here, sis. Give me Psalms 94 and 17. Give me Psalms chapter 94, verse 17. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 14. 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil door? The Most High God got a question. He wants to know who's going to rise up for him against the evildoers. We come out in our communities and all we see is evil. All we see is destruction. All we see is poverty. All we see is drugs. Who's going to stand up for the so-called black community and fix it? Let's read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Uh -huh. uh, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up for the Most High God against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to stand up against the drug dealers? Who's going to stand up against the so-called white man? Who's going to stand up against the so-called Arab man? The Israelites going to stand up against these people. We back to save our communities. We back to give life to our people. Because our people are dead right now, my sister. Jeez. Our people are dead right now. And we come to give you life, my brother. What's, what's your name? Earl. What's your name? Earl. Earl? My sister, what's your name? Tamisha. Tamisha. Brother Earl, sister Tamisha, what is your nationality? Most important question of the day. Black. What is your nationality? Black. Black. Black is a color in the crayon box, my brother. Black is a color in the crayon box, my sister. We come to give you your heritage back. Because when the white man took us into slavery, he took everything from us and gave us a color in a crayon box. Right. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. But come over here and look at this sign right here. Because you walked up here thinking that you were black. But you're going to walk away thinking something else of yourself. Right. My sister right here with the, uh, with, with the joint on. What is your nationality, my sister? Hey. You. Hey. Black? Black is a color. I come to give you something that you that you lost a long time ago. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Read it out. And thou, even thyself. The Bible says that thou, Jeremiah, even thyself, read, shall discontinue from thy heritage, and that and that I gave thee. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. Hey, Brother Earl, Sister Tamisha, don't walk away just yet. I need you got to be at work. You are an Israelite, my brother. You are an Israelite, my sister, and you must return back to your heritage. God gave you a heritage, my brother and my sister, and being black is not your heritage. Right, right. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, right, right, right. the mighty tribe of Judah. Right, right. That's the same tribe Jesus the Christ came from. That's right. Read it again. And thou, even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee. The Most High God gave us a heritage and we've discontinued from it. How do we discontinue from our heritage? The white man took your high pots into slavery. Right, right. He gave you pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster to eat. See? He gave you an image of himself to worship every Sunday morning, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And he gave you his customs to follow along with his religion. Right. We come out here to call you out of those things, back to your heritage, which is this Bible. That's right. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Let's talk about the heritage that the Most High God gave us. What did the Most High God give the so-called black man as a heritage? What did he give us as a heritage? Give me Sirach 17 verse 11. Teach. What is our heritage? Christmas ain't our heritage. Birthdays ain't our heritage. Right. Thanksgiving is not your heritage. Right. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Bring it out. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. The Bible says the Most High God gave us knowledge. That's right. right. And that knowledge is what you're lacking today, so-called black man. Please. You don't know who you are. You don't know where you belong. You don't know what your customs are. Read what you got. And the law 
love. In the what? And the love uh-huh. of life for inheritance. The Bible says God gave us his laws as inheritance. Right. Thou shalt not commit adultery as your heritage. Right. right. You discontinue from your heritage and you're full of fornication. Right. You're full of sin and right. adultery and fornication. But God says you must return back to your heritage that he gave you. Right. Keep read on. He made an everlasting covenant with them. And the Bible says he made an everlasting covenant with us. That covenant will never end. Old Testament, New Testament. That covenant is still with us. See. My brother, come up and learn your heritage. Come up, learn your history. Come up, learn your nationality and how to get salvation in these last days. Right. Read. And showed them his judgment. Uh-huh. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory. All right. He showed us his, he gave us his knowledge. He showed us his judgments. See? Give me Psalms uh, 135 and 11. Give me Psalms chapter 135 verse 11. Because our heritage, we've discontinued from. We've discontinued from our heritage, but we must return back to it, my brother. What is your name, my brother? Henry. Henry, Henry what is your nationality? African American is a term derived from two different Caucasian men. Right. There's a white man named Leo Scipio Africanus, where the term Africa comes from. There's another white man named Amerigo Vespucci, that America comes from. You don't look like you descend from two white men. Two white men can't have descendants at all. Right. What people do you descend from, my brother? You're going to find out if they called you African-American here in the land of your captivity that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's the same tribe that Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, comes from. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Give me Jesus Christ. Give uh, Give me Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. I'm going to show you that the greatest man that ever walked the face of this earth, if he was walking right now down Church Street, you know what he would, they would call him? An African-American. Right. They would call him a so-called black man. But that's the, not the name that the Most High God has given you, Brother Henry. The name that he's given you is Judah, which means praises of the Most High God. So we're going to send up praises to the Most High God on this day by giving you your nationality back. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Hey, sister, come up. Bring the dog with you. Read. For it is evident. It is evident. It is evident, meaning that there is evidence. Where do we find the evidence of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah? Matthew chapter 1. We read about his genealogical records. Right. They're written down. Read what you got. For it is evident Uh that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of what? Out of Judah. Out of what? Out of Judah. Brothers, out of what? Out Out of of Judah. Judah. The Bible says Jesus Christ sprang out of Judah. Let me show you what the people of the tribe of Judah look like. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. You're going to get your heritage back today, my brother. Lord will you repent, but we're going to give it to you. Give me Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2, so I can show you what the people of the tribe of Judah look like. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. What does the Bible say? Judah mourned. The Bible says who mourns? Judah mourned. The Bible says the tribe of Judah is in mourning. Right. You know who makes up the, the, the city of Norfolk, the city of Portsmouth, the city of Newport News, getting gunned down in the streets, living on Section 8, got a food desert around the corner. You know who's mourning right now? The tribe of Judah. See? And the Bible going to tell you exactly what the tribe of Judah look like. Read. And the gates thereof language. The Bible says that the gates thereof language. You know who the gates are? The gates are the leaders. The gates are the men. Give me that in Proverbs 31. Hold that. Verse 23. Verse 23. Uh-huh. She maketh herself covering. Verse 23. Her husband. Her what? Her husband uh-huh. is known in the gate. In the what? In the gate. The Bible says her husband is known in the gates. Why is he known in the gates? Because the men of the nation of Israel are the leaders. That's right. right. The men are the leaders in the nation of Israel. Right. Now go right. back to what you had, Pro- uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Judah morning uh-huh. and the gates. The gates, when it says the gates, is talking about the men who are supposed to be leading our community. Right. Read. Right. They're of language. They languish, meaning they lack. They are weak. The men aren't running the communities out here. 
The men aren't with the women. The women are running the communities. That's why the community is so broken. Because everybody was raised by their mama. And guess what? Women are emotional. Men not supposed to be emotional. So when you're raised by your mother, you're raised to be weak. Right. You're raised to be physically strong and physically weak. Well, you, well, the reason you can't believe it is because you have not seen a community where the men are present building strength in the household. Right. Hey, sister, you need to repent. If you got anything to say against the Most High God's words, you better repent. Right? I guarantee you that if you ain't got a husband at home, your kids is growing up defiled. Baby daddies, baby mamas are destroying the black community. So you got to repent from that. But the, the biggest problem in the black community is the, the black woman with the big black mouth. Learn to keep your mouth closed. That's how the community is going to come back by you zipping your lips. Read what you got. To the morning. And the gates thereof language. The gates language, meaning the men language. The men are weak. We ain't supposed to have no loudmouth black women in the community. Right. The Bible tells a woman learn in silence. Right. right. Let's get that. Hold that. And I can't believe that way. Well, if you don't believe the Bible, then if you don't believe the Bible, kick rocks. We out here for the people that want their heritage back, that want to take their community back. Right. 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 Get the hell out of here. Hey, 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 Give me 1 hey, Corinthians 14, here, verse 34. Right. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 14. You being weak, you out here defending the woman, but you won't defend your own community. The, the white man implemented, implemented that thought process in your brain right there. The white man took the black man and, and, uh, and destroyed him in front of his community and made the black woman to be strong amongst the nation. If you don't want to repent from that, then drop dead, bro. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, uh -huh. chapter 14, verse 34. Read it out. Let your woman, let who? Your woman keep silent. The Bible tell the black woman to shut the hell up. Right. right. That's what the Bible tell the black woman. Until the black woman learn to be quiet, until she learns to be quiet, our communities will remain destroyed. Right. They will remain destroyed. We got all the biblical smoke for everybody. If you want it, come and get it. But what you need to come get is this repentance. This repentance right here. This is what the Bible say about the black woman. Read. Let your woman keep silent in the churches. But it is not permitted unto them to speak. The Bible says it's not permitted for that woman down the street to be running her big black mouth. Right. The Bible says keep your mouth closed. Right. That's why you ain't got no husband because you run your mouth too much. Right. Right. Now go back to Jeremiah verse 14 verse chapter 14 verse 2. Black women, you ain't never got corrected by the black man. That's why you way out of order. That's why you got some skin tight pants on showing your ass. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. oh. Judah morning. It's and not Judith. Who is it? Judah morning? Read what you got. And the gates there of language. So again, the gates, the men of our community are weak. Right. And people get offended at us because you ain't never seen a strong black man before. Right. You ain't never seen a black man tell his woman to be quiet because that's what she's supposed to be doing. Right. She's supposed to be learning in silence. You can't learn if your mouth wide open. Right. Read what you got. They are black. Who? They are black. The Bible says that the tribe of Judah is black. That's right. right. And we've discontinued so far from our heritage that we forgot that we the tribe of Judah and now we just identify with black. Teach. That's how far we've fallen from our history. That's how far we've fallen from our heritage. Teach. Bring the sister up. Bring the sister up. Sister, come return back to your heritage. Return back to your nationality. If I asked you your nationality, my sister, what would you tell? What would you tell me? What is your nationality? Okay, you guess African American, which means that you a little unsure, is that right? Sorta of, kinda. Of. Alright, I'm gonna give you some information. You tell me what you think about it, alright? The term African American, do you know where it comes from? Okay, okay. All right, black is a color in a crayon box, but African-American is a term that comes from two different white men. There's a white man that conquered a portion of Africa and they named it after him. His name was Leo Scipio Africanus. That's where Africa comes from, okay? You follow me so far, my sister? All right, same thing happened in America. A white man came over here named Amerigo Vespucci. And after he found this place, 
You really didn't find it, people were already here, right? But after he quote unquote found it, they named this continent America. Two different white men. What's your daddy look like? Me. Huh? Me. He got color in his complexion, right? So it's impossible for you to be African American. Nation is men leading by example. 